what's happening everybody hey 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 it's sugar pearl studio kitchen live welcome to my kitchen welcome let's get cooking tonight is steak night done right okay very simple very easy menu um i'm going to be using a beautiful lovely marbled Look, look at all that. Look at this goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh, hang on just a second. Yes, yes, yes. We are back in the kitchen again this week. And I'm ready to go, y'all. I'm ready, ready, ready. So, like I said, we're doing the steak night done right. When I tell you, I went by, Lord, don't let me get it wrong. West Side, West Side Meat Market. Is it West Side Meat Market here in Charlotte? That's right there, right there off of 77, um, down from Johnson C. Smith University. Pick this bad boy up. When I tell you, this meat market is everything too bad i don't eat meat but two three days a week but honey when i tell you i mean look at the the marbling the color in this ribeye just beautiful now when i got it it was um still kind of frozen because when they when they're when the butchers cut their meat they cut them frozen it's just much easier to do that way so as soon as i got home i seasoned it with just plain um not plain what did i where's my my pink salt that's what i seasoned it with <laughs> Chat. my pink salt on both sides to draw that moisture out because when i put it on top of my handy dandy griddle it's gonna sizzle up and be so good and that fat is just gonna make everything so tender and juicy and delicious and oh it's gonna be awesome hey calvin i love you too hi antoinette welcome back to sugar pearl studio kitchen live now y'all did y'all subscribe to my youtube channel subscribe i need for you to tell everybody you know everybody you like everybody you don't like to go to sugar pearls that's it online s-u-g-a-r P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S on YouTube. Click subscribe, like, whatever it is you're supposed to do there. And, and start watching the show, okay? Because after my live shows, I take the video back in production and I work my little magic. And um, sometimes it's a little bit shorter. This past one was a little bit shorter because the sound was crazy with some frying that went on but anyway i need for you to like subscribe share 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 okay the website is www.sugarpearlsonline.com and there you can view the videos of my shows you can also um book me if you would like for me to come and do your brunch lunch dinner parties whatever have you you can also look at loads of pictures of menus and things that i've done in the past just check out the page and also read how sugar pearls came to be you gotta know who it's named after all right i'm gonna wash up my fingers my hands and then i want to cut my red onion i got some mushrooms here mushrooms and my red onion are go gonna go on the side of my steak tonight steak night done right i just had a craving y'all for for a nice steak you know i'm i i don't mind eating my veggies and all that stuff i'm a bit hey cheryl my big sister i love the vegetables i really do but every now and then i get a hankering for some for some meat and tonight it was just <sighs> I'm a carnivore at heart okay 
I'm also going to do some asparagus. Now, I had this asparagus for a little bit, but what has kept it so fresh and lovely is that I've been keeping it in my um, glass vase here in the fridge in some cold water. And I cut the bottoms so that it will continue to stay fresh like a flower, right? So when you do cut your asparagus, cut the bottoms off stick it in a vase of water, put it in the fridge, and it'll keep for about a week and a half. All right, All right. washing the hands, and we're gonna get started cooking. Good looking. Oh, everybody loves the sunshine, Roy Ayers, come on. Oh. Folks get down in the sunshine. Everybody loves the sunshine. Ooh, but saying Roy Ayers, ubiquity, love it. Well, the birthday has come and gone, and I don't need to tell you, there was nothing um, just mind blowing about it, other than the fact that I woke up <laughs> on my birthday. So that was nice. That's always nice. Uh, other than that, ain't much to tell. But I'm here. I'm grateful. I got to spend my birthday with some of my favorite people. And that's nice. I also talked with several of my favorite people that I didn't get to see, but... Either way, it was just nice just to connect. And if you read my posts from my birthday, um, then you will see that there were just some things that I started to notice and started to have a, a, a different level of gratitude about. So, oh, uh, come on now. I know you can't uh, hear, hang on, hear everything that I'm playing. can't keep running in and out of my life lord child this music tonight oh my gosh so all i'm doing i'm not gonna uh cut up the entire onion now miss carla loves herself an onion but I'm, I'm gonna just do half of it tonight okay uh to go alongside my so fairly, fairly thin. It's going to go on the same griddle with my steak. I've got a sweet potato in the oven. It smells so good. And it smells like the holidays. And I ain't, ain't no sweet potato pie. It's just a, a plain old sweet potato in the oven like uh, Grandma Sugar used to do. Boy, she have that thing in the oven, honey. I'm going to leave that right there for a second get my griddle up some olive oil on that baby you know I love my olive oil wait a minute yeah so I want to um, give a pretty generous coating of olive oil on that you'll need a whole whole lot but you know now for my steak I know a lot of people Hey, brother Tommy. <laughs> Look at that. It's steak night done right tonight. I'm eating this baby all by myself. If I don't finish it tonight, then it will be with a side of eggs in the morning. So, like I was saying, um, some people like to put a lot of seasonings on their steak. I'm not a, a heavy seasoning per. When I have a, a steak, I mean, this is steak night done right. So for me to do it right, don't over season the steak. When I got it home, I put some salt on it on both sides to draw the moisture out so that it would sear and crust up real nice. But um, you don't need to put a whole lot of stuff on it. Uh, I want to taste the meat. I don't want to taste a whole lot of salt and all kinds of other stuff, all right? 
this is not a fancy dish this is steak not done right so I'm gonna show you how I do it right okay all right so on this stage I'm gonna do both sides all right I, I told you that before right like if you season your meat season that whatever season both sides don't don't just do one portion you have to season the whole thing all I'm using the salt's already in there. I really don't need to add anymore. I'm not going there. I've got some garlic powder, not garlic salt, garlic powder. Don't add any more sodium to your diet if you don't have to have it, okay? Now, if you're using garlic salt, then don't use the salt, okay? In this case, I use salt, so I'm not using any other salt added seasonings all right just plain old garlic powder one side right on the butcher paper other side all right let's get that in there <laughs> honey when you single and you on a budget you make do you make do oh my goodness that griddle is nice and hot it's gonna be ready all right now now this rosemary don't let this fool you this rosemary I put it in an old rosemary um, jar container that I have but this rosemary came from my mom and dad's yard and I dried it so it's real rosemary now that's the other real flavor that I'm going to add to this steak. Um, I want it flavorful. I don't want it salty. But rosemary gives you a nice, all I'm doing is crushing it in my hand right here. Okay. And I'm going to put it on both sides. And the flavor and the fragrance of this rosemary. Oh, nothing like it. I know. Ooh, love on a two-way street. Ah! All right, that's my um, rosemary right there. Hey, Jackie. All right, now I'm gonna make a little butter for the steak afterwards too. I'm gonna show you. I, butter on your steak. Yeah, I'll show you. Hold on. So I'm going to get my rosemary on both sides, kind of mash it in there because I really want it to stick when it starts to um, sear. So I'm going to mash, mash, mash. I'm going to do some paprika to give it a nice little color on both sides, both of them. Mmm. Okay, and this is what you got. All right, a little salt to dry the, uh, to pull the moisture out. Some rosemary. Hey, Teresa Lamar. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. You better start cooking. I'm doing the show just for you. This is easy. This is very easy. All right, beautiful steak, and it's. It's so meaty and fatty that it's starting to pull apart from itself, but Lord have mercy. Anyway, you got your paprika, you've got your garlic powder, and you've got fresh dried rosemary that I took from my mom and dad's uh, rosemary garden back home in Lynchburg. Uh, dried it up, crushed it up. You just saw me crush it up just now. <laughs> just like that. Just like that. All right, now I am good. Now this steak is not going to take a long time. It's only about hmm, maybe a half inch. It's not even a half inch, really. So it's not going to take very long. And I must say, okay, before we go, you may want to cook your steak uh, well done. I don't like a well done steak. I want some juices running out of there. I want to see a little paint. 
All right, so mine is going to be medium or medium rare. I won't do medium rare for you tonight. I don't want to gross you out, so I'll do medium, okay? All right, so that's probably only going to take like five minutes on each side. Oh, my goodness. Now, before I set my uh, steak on the griddle, I'm going to make... I've got a little bit of basil in my window garden. I'm going to take that and I'm going to make a, I'll show you what, I'm going to make a basil butter out of it for the top of my steak. Basil butter? Pray tell, Carla, what the hell is basil butter? <laughs> well, I'm about to show you, boo. Hold on. Let me get some basil. Hang on. Find my little shears here. To heaven. You ever put a playlist on and wonder why you put it on like every song that comes on the playlist is singing your life? Stairway to Heaven, I'm, I'm not pleased right now. Love the song, but the door is wide open for you. The door is open for me. <laughs> I do know this, they could write some songs back in the day, honey. Woo, I don't know what y'all got now. And ain't nothing wrong with, I mean, I, I like a little trap music too now. I really do. But, oh, uh, sure, when I tell you, some of that stuff is garbage. Straight garbage. So, in my mortar and pestle, I just put, man, that went fast. I put some basil in there and now I'm just mashing it up. This is easy for you non-cooks out there. Get you some basil butter. Let me show you how to do it. Step by step. Oh, I need some more. That, that's basil. Lord, it smells good though. Woo Let me get some more in there. Get some more in my handy kitchen shears. Oh boy. I need to use up all of this stuff anyway because my, my little window garden is shriveling on up now. I done used all the stuff off of it and it did me right over the summer. And now, okay, so once you get all your basil nice and mash this is a handy little thing this mortar and pestle honey look like you're making medicine or something mm, i'm making medicine honey okay now i've got my basil all mashed up i got a pat of butter in here and Oh, get back on there. All right. Oh my goodness. Look how green and pretty this This is crazy. Look at that. That's beautiful. Why am I looking so surprised? Because I never did it before. I told you I make this stuff up as I go. Come on, you better get with the program. I just, I just, I get inspired when y'all join me. Inspired, I say. So I start doing stuff I ain't done before. And before you know it, you got yourself. Basil butter. I may add a little pepper for you. Let me add some crushed pepper. Because I'm going to put it in the fridge to get it a little bit stiff fresh basil sweet cream butter and crushed pepper all righty all righty all righty oh gosh won't the song hurry up and go to another one goodness I know. Stay away to heaven. Here we go. 
Heaven, heaven, heaven. We're going together. Just reminds me how lonely I am. No, I'm alone. I ain't lonely. There's a difference. Okay, put that in there. Y'all ready? You ready? Okay. It's steak night done right. Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen live, baby. Thank you for joining me here tonight as I make another beautiful mess in my kitchen. Welcome, welcome, welcome to everyone who's just coming on. Don't forget, you can always check out my YouTube page for past videos and the live videos become new videos on my YouTube page, all right? The YouTube page that I need for you to tell everybody to subscribe to is Sugar Pearls. That's it, it ain't hard to type. S-U-G-A-R-P-A-R-L apostrophe S. That's my page. Tell everybody you know and everybody you don't. Okay? Now, uh, the website is www.sugarpearlstudio. No, sugarpearlsonline.com. All right? Y'all almost messed me up there. Sugarpearlsonline.com is the website. I got to make sure I don't overcook that sweet potato now. Uh, tonight, steak night, uh, I just needed, I, I just needed some red meat. I did. I felt like maybe my iron was getting a little low, so I needed to bring it back. First things first. Got my beautiful steak here from Westside Meat Market here in Charlotte, North Carolina, where... They have butchers on hand to cut up any type of meat you can think of. It is absolutely wonderful to see. Oh, and it's so clean and fresh when you walk in there. Yeah, it, it's a nice little place. I'm going to go ahead and put this on because it's starting to break up on me. All right, here we go. Turn my, oh, I shouldn't have turned it down. So the key to doing steak, right? I ain't gonna put that on yet because I need it for it to sizzle. The key to doing steak, right, is when it hits your pan, You even if you use one of those old school black, uh, <laughs> yeah, how come y'all didn't put me on? Reggie, ain't nobody tell me about um, West Meat Market. My girl Atlanta did. So I had to go check them out for myself. But y'all didn't tell me what I've been missing. Ooh, they got lamb. Oh gosh. Oxtails as big as your face. Oh man. As I was saying. Even if you're doing a steak on the griddle like I'm doing tonight. Or on um, in one of those black cast iron old school skillets you want to make sure that when you put your meat on it it sizzles then leave it there if you are my friend from earlier shows then you know don't be picking up the meat looking to see what's going on you leave it there you leave it alone and be patient wait a few minutes then you flip okay i don't like poking my meat and all of that stuff, I use tongs. All right. That keeps all your juices uh, together. Ooh, wee. <laughs> I hear it. Here we go. Hearted. Now the OJs, they getting on my nerves. Every day the sun doesn't shine. Sometimes it has to rain. Oh, Lord. Mushrooms. Everything on the same skillet, honey. I ain't making this hard tonight. Red onions. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little pink salt and um, pepper on the I wonder what side. Usually one side is higher than the other. So we'll see. 
So just a little. Y'all, y'all can't see, huh? Okay. Let me show you what's going on. Booyah! Yeah, baby. And then we made love. Oh, dang it! Mm. I told y'all. Alone, not only. Little pep. Not overdoing this. Now I got this turned all the way up. Okay. And when I flip my steak, I'm going to put the asparagus on. I'll lay the asparagus on there, get some of that oil going and whatnot. Uh, it's it's going to be great. Trust me. Now, for my sweet potato, I am going to... Let me test it first. I, it should be done. I don't have it in there about 40 minutes, child. 45 minutes or so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it go a little longer. I'm gonna let it go a little longer. Let me wash my hands. Yeah. And oh yes, that steak is looking beautiful. Mm. I'm just excited. To get ready to eat it. It's been so long since I've had a steak. A really good, good steak. It's not heavily seasoned. All I got on there is a little salt, some fresh crushed rosemary, and some garlic powder. That's it. If you've ever gone to a really, really good steak place, like a really good steak place, they don't always season their steak. As a matter of fact, some of them don't season it at all. They want you to get the full essence of, of that meat. Uh, in this case, I added just a little, I, I didn't want to just, you know, do, do that, go that far. But I did put some salt and uh, garlic powder on there. And paprika to kind of give it a little color. All right. Hang on, work with me. Let me let you watch what's happening here and i'm gonna grab a seat for a second okay uh, be right back yes Oh, Michael Jackson, Lady in My Life. Ooh, soundtrack is, it's on point. It, it'll make you cry, but it's on point. Alright, ooh, wee. Well, that took very little time for that, um, for those peppers and onions to do their thing. I do believe I need a little more salt on my peppers and onions, though. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Thank you guys so much. I always appreciate you tuning in because I realize that you don't have to. Uh, you do it because, I don't know, maybe you heard what this crazy country girl was doing on Facebook Live. And you just like, let me see if she ain't lost all her marbles. And I hope that, you know, you see something that you like, you'll try, you'll experiment, and just kind of step out of your comfort zone. For me, doing this was stepping out of my comfort zone. So... It's all about just embracing new things. Yeah, that steak is taking no time. 
Look at that. I can already see. Oh, Brother Reggie, you look sweet. Thank you, brother. <laughs> look at that. No time at all. I could probably flip it. I'm a peek. Oh, yeah. Okay. Flip. And now I'm going to put some asparagus on there. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, my goodness. When I think of the goodness. Honey, let me tell you. <laughs> just like that, I did. <laughs> I did. I just, I just threw them on there. Literally just threw them on there. Move this out the way. I'm going to slide this down. And let that asparagus get some. Okay, so I'm turning around because sometimes when um, when I get her like when I really blow up y'all I'm telling you like when I blow up I ain't gonna act funny but when I blow up I'm gonna have a production crew they gonna have the microphones and the, the boom mics and the light and all of that stuff ready to go but because I'm I'm doing this um, myself on a budget um, I want you to just go with me and, and pray with me uh, that those things may come to fruition one day. Now, sometimes when when the crackle of the frying happens, it cuts the sound, it cuts between the sound, so that's why I turned it away so I could say that to you. Alright, so I'm going to let this fry and I'm going to shut up for a second, okay? All right, hang on. All right, so we're back. All right, how y'all feeling? Y'all feeling good? All right. Now, some of the frying has gone down just a little bit. I hope. All right. Take the asparagus off. Angela Winbush. Ooh, honey. Oh, we. A beautiful, beautiful mess. Now, I just thank the Lord that somebody taught me how to cook. Mama, daddy, grandmas, uncles, aunties, 
Oh, wait. They taught me how to do some things, honey. But I ain't gonna stop. I broke a cardinal rule with that steak, though. I kind of moved it around, trying to find the hot spot. I should have left it alone, but uh, it's okay. Oh no! My love, it want to short out on me, but that's okay. Cause I'm about to take it off now, baby. I told you I didn't. I I like a, a medium rare steak. In this case, I did it medium. I didn't want to freak you out. So it's medium. Uh oh. And let's let's get that sweet potato out of there. And then I'm gonna show you this this masterpiece tonight. Now I'm not gonna start eating right away. Why? Because we gotta let that steak set for a minute. So I'm gonna let it set and do its thing. And Ooh, yeah. Sweet potato is ready to go. Ah, I also made cinnamon sugar ball. So it's butter, it's cinnamon, it's sugar. It's going to go on my sweet potato. That's all. A little cinnamon. A little sugar, a little butter, right there. All right, so I'm gonna sit that here so it doesn't melt again, but it's nice and firm. It's also gonna help to cool my potato down so I can eat it right away. All right, well, 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 well. I have so much gratitude uh, for my family, my friends that are my family, my family, for sure, for sure. And um, it's, it just, I was a little in the dumps. I'm, I'm just going to be straight up with you. Uh, for the birthday, a little low. Sometimes those those things happen at, uh, you know, special occasions, holidays, weddings, bar mitzvahs, things like that. I start to feel kind of woe is me. Yeah. And then, I don't know how it happened or what happened, but... I can certainly say that the people in my life, the friends, the family, the family, have definitely, um, they show up right on time. <laughs> they show up with encouragement, with a push, with love, with laughter, and that really helped to pull me up out of you know, what could have been a, a, a pretty depressing birthday. So, it wasn't bad. It, it wasn't the turn up that I wanted. But you know what? I'm 45 years old, child. Uh, my turn up days. Mm, once in a while. Once in a while. But this wasn't that time. It, it I... And as I reflect, I'm like, you know what? Maybe um, this this was the birthday that I needed to be silent. Like I said, if you read my posts, I did like two birthday posts, uh, thanking you all for what you uh, have. Oh, that's crooked. I'm sorry. I'm sorry uh, for all of your well wishes for the birthday. But I really, um, I think it was, it was time for me to just like get, get some quiet inside, like within me, like really 
take that quiet seriously and use it so that I could think about and plan my next venture, adventure, and to really set some really, really real goals for myself. So, I use this birthday to do most of that. Uh, I have I'm, uh, some of that stuff, the goal setting stuff is still a work in progress and I'll be doing that for days, weeks, and months to come, I'm sure. But uh, as I look back on this birthday, I'm like, yeah, I, I guess I need it for it to just be low key. I took advantage of that time, and I'm glad I did, yeah, so, uh, in any case, we got supper, we got supper, y'all, we got, uh, ribeye, we got some, oh, Teresa, thank you, my basil butter, girl, see, y'all. I'm not going to use all of this. I'm going to just use a little pack. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Y'all, this is magazine worthy. Am I bragging on myself? Yes, I am. Magazine worthy, I say. Mushrooms and red onion sauteed. Sauteed asparagus, a baked sweet potato, and a fried ribeye with some basil butter on it. Now, I'm about to get into this sweet potato. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hot, 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 mommy. Hot, mommy. <laughs> I'm going to just put the whole little thing in there and then hope it. Oh, it's starting to melt and be all cute. Mmm, mmm. I'm proud of myself. I really am. So I'm going to sit down and have dinner with you for a second. Hey, you good looking. Hey. Steak night done right tonight. Yeah. And on the menu, a nice ribeye steak I got from the West Side Meat Market, down from Johnson C. Smith University. Phenom. This is supper. Asparagus. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, let's sit that there for a second. I need to grab maybe a little something to drink. Pardon me. I told you one day I'm going to have a crew to, to do all this stuff, so don't mean to give you vertigo, but. Uh. Ha <laughs> ha Look at that. All right. Feast your eyes upon that for a second while I grab. I'm going to just grab my water. I'm trying to get more water in me. I know. Now. My, um. My very, very dear friend, you might have seen the picture of us together. Um, me, Nita, Chad, and 
Viva all together hanging out. Well, Chad hooked me up with some Chevis Regal scotch. That may be my nightcap, maybe, I don't know. But right now, I'm going to just drink on this water. And, oh, gosh. I'm not going to eat all of this. I'm, I'm not. I'm just showing you what it looks like, okay? All right, so. I've got. Oh. Somebody, please take a picture of this child's food. Ooh, little ash from the tater. Y'all, where's my old phone? Because this right here don't make no sense. <laughs> yes, my God, my God. Yes, indeed. Y'all can do this. This is not hard. It is not hard to do. Uh, steak can be very easy to cook. You just... It's best if you just cook it fast. You know, go with it. Let it fry real quick. And don't overcook it. That's why I like my medium to medium rare. Medium rare to medium. In this case, it's medium tonight. I'm trying to turn my old phone on so that I can take a picture of this masterpiece. Hang on. Oh, I want to cut into it so bad, but. Come on now. Mm -mm. Hang on. Why didn't I have this ready before the show? What is on the yam? Oh, hey, Michael. Uh, I made a. Cinnamon sugar ball. That's it. Just cinnamon, sugar, and butter. And kind of whipped it all together. Formed it into a ball. Put it in the fridge so that it could melt and cool my potato at the same time. And the basil butter on my steak. Look at how that butter is melting on that steak. <laughs> I did this. I did this. And you can too. You. Miss, I don't like to cook. I don't know what to buy. It ain't gonna taste like yours. So what? You do it. You try it. You make it your way. It'll be great. And if it ain't great, guess what? So what? You try it again. Hang on. I'm looking for my... Uh, my camera now. Oh, go back. See, on this old phone, I don't know what nothing is. Camera, there we go. Whoo, baby! Baby, baby. Okay. You know I like to get those close-up shots. Hang on, y'all bear with me now. Just bear with me. Uh, this, if I had a crew, then they would do all of this. But I don't have a crew yet. Mm -hmm. The crew is, I'm telling you, one day I'm going to blow up. Oh my gosh, that asparagus is delicious. I'm about to eat it. Don't worry. Hold on. I'm going to eat it. Oh, this is, is almost too pretty to eat. This girl has showed out tonight. That's what she did. Alright, I think that's enough. <laughs> okay, somebody say a prayer. That this is alright. I'm sure it's alright. But uh, in any case, we're going to give thanks. All right. Uh, thank you, Father, for the food that uh, you have allowed me to prepare tonight. Thank you for giving me the skills and the wherewithal. And thank you for allowing my friends to come on and join me on tonight's show. I am blessed and I'm appreciative of all that you've given me. 
especially this meal on tonight. In Jesus' name I pray, amen, amen, amen. And it's a salad for it, but I, at this point, I don't care. I, I don't care. I'm... Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh my god this this meat is so tender all that fat around it all that marbleization let me get some of that basil butter on there boo stick a fork in me I'm done I'm done. My God, my God, my God. This is this is Jesus right here. Mm. Mm. And nothing is over seasoned. The steak is seasoned just perfect. All I did was, um, when I brought it home, put that salt on it front and back right away. Let that out. I didn't stick it back in the fridge. Maybe that's where you're making a mistake with um, your steak. Sometimes, sometimes you can get a bad cut of steak. You can just get a bad cut. But, if you put a cold steak on a hot eye, Mm -mm. your steak need to be room temperature when you put it on the griddle I forgot to tell you that that's all I did salt it front and back to pull the moisture out then I lift it out then I put it on the hot griddle mm -hmm. y'all I'm giving you all these tips for free cause Y'all gonna be sick of eating all that turkey and dressing. After day two, I'm done. I ain't eating no more of that. After that, I want me some seafood and uh, something something else. I can't. Ooh, all that tryptophan and that turkey making me have the dropsies. Mm -mm. That ain't cute. Mmm. enjoy food I really enjoy food like this is honey I'm trying to make you hungry look at this steak with this basil butter that I made look at that sweet potato with that um cinnamon sugar butter in it look at that asparagus right there look at them peppers and mushrooms right there mm. I did that all that mm -hmm. me and the Lord I enjoy good food and when I go out I don't have it either I'm very excited about eating great food mm -hmm. <laughs> medium there's no paint running out of it but it's not well done you will never hear me order a steak well done nope not I I want to eat all of this right now I do but I know I can't Mm. So 
started. That was a big bite. A really big bite. I just lost my light. It's okay. I'm still here. That means there's probably time to sign off. No well done. No well done state. No. They, they killed it one time. They done killed the cow one time. Now we want to kill it again by doing it well done. Mm -mm. Medium is fine. And then you still got that good flavor. And don't over season it. Okay? Um, your food already has a lot of flavor. Uh, if you've been watching past shows, what I say is start with your herbs first, then add your salt. If you start with your herbs first, you'll find that you don't need a lot of salt added to your dishes. Use the herbs, especially on your meat. I love fresh herbs on meat. I do. In this case, it was, um, I used dried rosemary from my mother and father's rosemary garden at home. Started with that and just, you know, left the rest to my taste buds. Yeah. Ooh, when I tell you, I, I still, I ain't made a dent. Hold on, I gotta try to sweet potato with this, um, with this cinnamon sugar butter on it. Uh, I'm going to just mix it on up in there. I'm, I'm pretty much got a... Oh my. Lord. Okay. That's my dessert. Mm. Oh my goodness. I want my mama's pie so bad. That reminded me. Mama. Time to make that pie, boo. Mm, 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 mm. Thank y'all. As I always say, you don't have to watch the show, but you do. And every week, I'm a little more amazed. So thank you for hanging out with me on Friday nights, now at 7 o'clock, here on Facebook. It's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. After that, I post the show to my YouTube channel, which is Sugar Pearls. That's S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. And please feel free to visit my website. You can also watch videos on there in the watch category. And you can also book me. So if you'd like for me to do brunch, lunch, dinner parties, I'm your girl. I got you. Okay? That website is www.sugarpearlsonline.com. This has been a pleasure for me. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.